I'm Tony Waldrop and welcome to Dominion Networking where we study and practice the acronym BEST which stands for Kingdom Business, Economics, Stewardship and the Transfer of Wealth for financing the filling of the world to maximum potential with the gospel of the Kingdom of God. We live in a season like no other season in world history and it is an honor and a privilege to live in this season but with it comes great responsibility and obligation to be busy about our Lord's business. So let's get into this lesson and let's get equipped to do God's divine will, plan, and purpose in this season. The second point in stewardship is the precept of stewardship. And the precept of stewardship is to him who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. Now, Jesus says those exact same words in Matthew's account in two places. The first one is dealing with the mysteries of the kingdom of God when the disciples said, came to him and said, why do you speak to everybody in parables? And he said, because it's been given you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to everybody else on the outside, it's given in parables the parables are meant to be understood. And what he's talking about is to him who has, has some revelation, more revelation will be given, and he'll have revelation in abundance. And then the second place that is recorded in Matthew is at the end of the parable on talents, which is really about wealth creation and management. And he says to him who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. It's a growing of wealth. It's a wealth creation and management and expansion. Now, when you take and put these two together is where we want to get to. But when you're dealing with the mysteries, the, king, the kingdom of God is locked up tight in mystery form by Jesus himself. And the only way to unlock it is with the keys of revelation into it. Remember, Jesus was walking along one day and, and the disciples with him and he spun around and he said, Say, boys, who do men say that I am? And uh, they said, Well, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, some say a great prophet. And Jesus said, Yeah, but who do you boys say I am? And Peter being Peter, he pops up and he says, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus said, Blessed, blessed are you, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal, reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I tell you, I give you the keys to the kingdom. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Now, what was the first key? Well, the first key was the revelation of who Jesus is. And uh, that, that's the most important key. But once you get that key, you don't want to stop there. There's other keys. There are keys into the mysteries of the kingdom of God. And Jesus told Peter, on this rock, I'm going to build my church. What rock? The rock, uh, the revelation of who Jesus is. But Jesus is still building his church, and the way that he keeps building it is through more revelation into his word. So on one hand, it's to him who has, in other words, you get some revelation. And what you do with that revelation, how you steward that revelation, has to do with more revelation being given, more understanding, more keys to the kingdom, until you have an abundance. Now... When we go over to the wealth creation and management parable, talents, uh, what we find there is that the one, one had been given five and one had been given two talents and they went out immediately and got busy about their Lord's business. And that as they were busy about their Lord's business, they were gaining talents. Now as they were, they were doing business according to their Lord's business. They were busy about their Lord's business. They had revelation into the kingdom of God, yet they were operating with finances. They were operating in wealth. They were uh, operating according to the judgment standards and precepts that God's put in place. 
And as they did, their talents were uh, expanding. Now, as their talents were growing, as their talents were expanding, it is the talents are the instrument that is used to measure the overall growth, expansion of the dominion. Now, that's vitally important. You see, first you get some revelation in the Word. And then you take and you begin to add your finances. You begin to finance it. God's not trying to finance the world. He's financing the kingdom. I know a lot of us think, or a lot of people think that God's trying to finance the world. He is not trying to finance the world. He's financing the kingdom. And if you want to get in the blessing and get in the blessing big time, you got to get in to financing the kingdom. Now, as, as they took the revelation in which they had, and they were investing, they were sowing into the revelation as they had. And it began to expand as they began to gain more talents, as they were the salt of the earth and the light of the world, and it began to grow and to expand. Now what we have right there, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first this revelation. Seek ye first to see the kingdom. Invest into the kingdom. As you do, all these things are going to be added unto you. Stewardship is the key that unlocks all these things being added unto you. The parables are puzzle pieces. And when you put them all together, they make up the picture of the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. And that's where the transfer of wealth is coming to put together. If you want to be blessed, learn to see the parables and identify, identify the concrete elements in it and the abstract elements in it. The concrete, the, rep, the physical representation of the parable. And then the abstract has to do with the laws, relationships, and properties that govern the physical. And when you align these two and you put these two into motion, you get the parable of talents where wealth creation and management is taking place. But as the talents grow, as the wealth expands and is managed, so does the dominion. And that is at the heart of God on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus is king. We have the mind of the king and his kingdom. So engage with those of like mind as we fill the world to maximum potential with the gospel. And let's go viral. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments in the box below. And I'll see you in the next lesson.